So from the fundamentals of this uh, compound interest, we'll begin some problems. First, we'll solve few questions which are uh, related to the compound interest without using formula. Okay, without using compound interest formula, we need to solve the problems. So first, eight problems. I'll explain you the uh, similar methods and the different data when is given. So how to solve without using any formula, only by using the simple interest. So let us see. Here, if you observe the question, find the amount and compound interest on rupees twelve thousand five hundred for two years at eight percent per annum compounded annually. So after solving this problem, I will show you one more question. So a little more details. So we'll see one by one. If you have idea about this type of questions, so you can solve without using even formulas, compound interest also. Right? Okay. So first of all, the given data is the principal. So we have taken the amount twelve thousand five hundred. That is the principal. We we'll begin the solution. Principal for first year it is because you have taken the two years. Now first of all, the given data we need to write. So principal. So principal for first year. Okay, that uh, given data is rupees twelve thousand five, right? And interest for the first year. First of all, first year interest you need to find out because whenever the compound interest, the first year interest will add to the next year principal. This is the method as we learned previous. Now, interest for the first year will find out because it's a percentage and rate of percent rate is equals to eight percent for first year. Then interest for first year. We'll go step by step. Interest for the first year. So unless until we don't know any formula regarding compound interest, we have to use simple interest only. That is P T R by hundred. So your principal is twelve thousand five hundred. This on time for one year. And rate of interest is eight. Percent so by hundred. Now this is the interest for the first year. If you do cancellation, this so most problems you can go for cancellations when two zeros are like this. Hundred ones, hundred one twenty five is hundred things. So one twenty five into eight. Okay, if you multiply one twenty five eight times is a thousand. Right. Now this is the interest for the first year. We need to find out amount and compound interest for two years. Okay, this is first year. Now amount at the end of the first year. So this is first year interest. If you add to the principal, then amount will come for the end of the first year. Amount at the end of first year. So till first year the principal is twelve thousand five hundred. Plus interest is one thousand. Now total is thirteen thousand five hundred is the amount at the end of the first year. Now this is nothing but principal for the second year, right? Always amount will become next year's principal. Then principal for the second year. So amount end of the first year is nothing but principal for the second year. That is thirteen thousand five hundred, right? Now interest for the second year will find out. Now interest yeah, can I this? So interest for the second year. So if you want to find out the interest for second year, same. Now principal is thirteen thousand five hundred. Same for one more year. Next second year it is. And percent of rate of rate percent is eight percent by hundred. Just do these cancellations. Calculation if you do, that we can simplify here. 
and two zeros will cancel. 135 into 8. 135 into 8 if you multiply that is the interest for the second year. So 135 into 8 is 1080. So 1080. Now this is the interest for second year, right? Now amount at the end of the second year. Then we need to find out the final amount. Therefore, amount at end of second year. So, whatever end of the first year is interest. End of the first year is 13,500. Now, for this interest is 1080. We should add. That is the amount at the end of the second year. Right? Same. 13,000. 500 plus 1080 then add this both 13,500 plus 1080 is 14,580 14,580 now this is the amount at the end of the second year right yeah so two questions and to the asked amount with the need to find out at the same time you see a amount and compound interest also so how much interest total if you want to find out the interest total amount minus original principal always from the original principal you have to subtract then compound interest for two years overall two years is now total amount the final amount is 14,580 minus the given principal is original principal is 12,500 in the question this is subtraction 14,580 minus 12,500 is 2,000 yeah 2008 2080 therefore amount is 14,580 and compound interest is 2008 right this way so anyway the last three years also you have to the same so the problems will be changed the numbers will be changed and method will remember same right let's see one more question now this one if you observe here Ramesh invests 12,800 for 3 years here at the rate of 10% per annum compound interest now 3 questions we need to solve one by one first one the sum due to Ramesh at the end of the first year ok we can find out sum we should find out end of the first year and interest he earns for the second year total amount due to him at the end of the third year so final amount also we need to find out so let's go step by step. First, the principal for the first year. So whatever investment is there, there is a principal for the first year. So we'll do first part. Now principal for the first year. Principal for first year. The investment, the investment amount is nothing but only. Principal for the first year is rupees twelve thousand eight hundred, right? Yes. Now interest for the first year. <coughs> so yes, you have to mention clearly. Now interest. Interest for the first year same. The same principal is PTR. Time is one year, and your rate of interest is ten percent. So by hundred. PTR by 100 fund. You can cancellation if you do. 100, two zeros. 128 into 10. So 1280. Okay, 1280 rupees is interest for the first year. Now, sum due to Ramesh at the end of the first year. So, how much sum he has? He's asking sum due to Ramesh at the end of the first year. End of the first year, sum we should find out. There is sum at end of only first year. End of the first year is and the principal plus whatever interest. That is 12,800 plus 1280. Okay, this is the end of the first year, the sum. If you add this both 12,800 plus 1280 is 14,080. 14,080. Yes. Now this is the sum. Now when you come to the second, the interest he earns for the second year. 
So if you want to find out the interest for second year, you should get the principal for second year. Principal for second year is nothing but the sum at the end of the first year always. Now we can write the principal. Principal amount for the second year. Always amount, total amount at the end of the first year is nothing but principal for the next second year. That is, uh, we got 14,080, right? And interest, if you find out interest you earn for the second year. Now for this principal, find out the interest. So interest for second year. Now same PTR by 100. So principal is 14,080. Time is 1 year. Rate of interest is 10% by 100. Right? Now we just simplify this. 1, 0. And here 1 more 0. You can cancel it in 1. So finally, 1408. This is 1408. Right? Now amount at the end of the second year. Therefore, amount at end of second year is same the principal for the second year plus this interest. So 14,080 plus 1,408. 14,080 plus 1,408 is 15,488. Right? You understand? The amount is 15,000. 488 right here in which so 15,488 you start both that's it now this is the amount for the end of the second year now next question the interest you earn for the second year then total amount due to him at the end of the third year final amount at third year you should find out Okay, when you want to find final amount at the third year, final amount, find the third year principal you need to find out. So amount at the end of second year is nothing but principal for the third year. Right? Therefore, principal for third year is whatever got total amount at the end of the second year. That is 15,488. And now you can find out the interest for third year. Therefore, interest for third year 15,488 into 10% and 1 year time by 100. This two zeros cancel. 15,488 15, by 10 that is get the point 1548.8 you just put 0 because it's rupees now finally this is the interest of the third year now total amount due to him at the end of the third year we can write therefore total amount total amount end of third year that means third year second year amount plus this interest okay we can add this code that is 15,488 plus 1548.80 so just put zero zero you can add this both that is point Eight zero six three zero seven one is yes. seventeen thousand thirty six point eight zero. This amount is at the end of the third year. You can find just simultaneously one by one step. We should take first year, second year, third year. Okay, first year same concept will apply for the remaining problems also. First year principal. End of the first year amount will become principal for the second year. And amount at the end of the second year is principal for third year, right? Similarly, the, this interest will be added for the third year amount. Yes. So this way you can solve. And 
similar questions you can find in the worksheet also worksheets and assignments are available just you can go to that worksheets and assignments also from this we'll see few more problems uh, without formula how to solve in different ways